Another great example, which I recommend you practice at home in your own sort of practice time, is Uptown Funk. We all know this bass line, and although it's played finger style on the record, I think there might be a couple of slappy parts in the chorus, you can actually apply the slap technique to this already existing bass line, which again is another factor that makes this slap technique so fun to play and versatile, is that I can apply it to any already existing song, as long as it fits. And so for this, me being on, being on a four string bass, I'll have to detune it. And the quickest way to do that on a four string is play the harmonic at fret five on my third string D, play the harmonic on fret five, my first string E, play both of those together, and then detune so that the pitch matches up, because I'm going to be in drop D. So I'm in drop D now, and that bass line that we all know from a couple of years back, Uptown Funk, with Jamario Artis on bass, is something like this. And that bass line, you start on the open string, which is now my open D. Then you're going to go 5, 3, open, 5, 3 on that same D string, which is this part of the song. And then because, of course, I'm on a four string bass that's detuned without the low C that Jamario had on the record, I'm compensating for that lack of that low C by playing the C on fret 3 on my A string there. So the riff altogether is this. And again, that kind of riff is quite repetitive, fairly simple as well, but serves the song, which is of course the main um, part with, with being a bass player and, and creating bass lines. But I always play this if I'm jamming along to it at home, just incorporating just this thumb slap technique, because again, it gives me that metallic punch that I really like the sound of. So again, I'm just gonna play this slowly to begin with, and it'll sound like this. And again, just like the other example of the song that we looked at before, I'm being really mindful as to, after this section, how I string skip with the thumb to make sure that I'm actually hitting that note and not many notes or strings at the same time, which of course comes back to that idea of making it really clear so that every note super clear and cuts through the mix, especially if you do a lot of recording bass, you really want the slap technique to, to serve you in the, in the sense that it has to be really clear. So when I bring this line to tempo now, again, just be mindful as to where I'm hitting it with the thumb, at what part of the bass, and be conscious of the fact that when you string skip to actually be accurate with moving from the E string to the A string, so I get it with the same part of the thumb every time, which should in essence, give me the same volume out of that note. So that will sound something like this. <laughs> 